Hi everyone, welcome back to An African Eye. I'm Ash Appleton. This episode is coming to you from Spinner's Web Nairobi, your one-stop shop for all your handicrafts, home decor items, pottery, textiles, you name it, it's here. Spinner's Web is a great alternative if you find markets stressful and time-consuming. Everything's under one roof, it's carefully selected, so the quality is guaranteed. In this episode, I'm gonna walk you through my favorite items and show you how I style them in my space. So what do I love? Let's have a look. These guys are great for adding energy and interest to your interior. So think about this. I have them at home, but I've actually painted mine. So they're blending quite nicely because when they're metal like this, they can be a bit harsh. So think about how you can, you know, upscale. Just because you buy something doesn't mean you have to leave it as you find it. So paint works really well and put them inside or outside. But I actually like mine inside. Would you believe it? Everything in this section is made from recycled paper. That's right, recycled paper. Absolutely love it. Look at this lampshade, this rhino. It's such a cool shape. You can almost feel the movement. I use these bowls, but slightly larger versions as bread baskets. I put a nice napkin in them, arrange my bread, put it on the table, and there you have it. I just love this stuff because at the end of the day, it's all made from recycled paper. So it's sustainable as well, sort of upcycling, using what we have. Everything about it ticks all the boxes. Really, really love it. Stunning. Soapstone. What's not to like? There's some really cool stuff here. My favorite pieces are these can tea light holders. Really nice modern shapes. I love the color, I love them in black. And what I do when I style this kind of stuff is odd numbers. Three, five, seven. Think about how lovely they look on a coffee table. So definitely go for those. And then, look, gray. Gray is a very nice modern color in terms of soapstone. This is a soap, soap dish. Love it, love it, love it. Again, another tea light. Beautiful, stunning, stunning, stunning. Just love all this stuff. Really nice, funky, and brown. I haven't seen brown soapstone. How gorgeous is that? If you like neutral interiors, this would work really well. Just as a little bit of a pop. So, brown, there you go. And these baskets. Look, leather handles, beautiful trim. Really nice to put all your knickknacks, keep them out of sight. And it's such a beautiful basket too. Anyway, as you can see, there's so much going on. These are also great gift items. If you've got a birthday coming up, you want to visit somebody, think about what you can get from here. Really nice, cool stuff. The trick with interior styling is mixing and matching. That means different contrasts, textures, whatever. I've got this little guy resting on my glass coffee table. Again, it's soapstone, but on the glass, it's really, really cool way of styling. So think about how you can do this. They're also really cool for putting you in your jewelry, keys, catching stuff, really good. If animals are your thing, this is a, I like this shape because it's modern, it's different, it's not what you normally see. So, if you like animals, and I love, again, the gray is a really nice color and will go with anything you have. I love functional art, like this beaded mirror. I've got this one at home on my landing and it looks amazing. Remember in episode seven, I talked about enhancing dark spaces and how to style your wall with mirrors? Well, this would be great to do that with. If you've got an ugly sofa that you don't like, just throw over something really nice like this. Blanket, throw. It'll add texture, it'll keep you warm. I mean, we're heading into the cold season, so this is a really good way to do that. Look at the colors. My favorite are this orange and this blue. Red's quite nice. Yeah, so this is gonna be great for that. The quickest and easiest way to introduce color into your interior is with a cushion like this. How cool is this? I love it. Look at this yellow, and this, by the way, is very fashionable now. It's on trend, yellow. And it just feels great too. Some people actually have a selection of cushions and they swap them around every three months. So it looks like you've got an entirely new room. So that's something you can think about doing. And it doesn't have to cost a fortune either. So depending what style you have, what style you like, 
introduce cushions that reflect the style. In episode 3, I talked about details and why they matter in your interior. Details are the finishing touches that elevate your space and give it energy, so don't overlook them. So, what can you do to add a little bit of oomph in your space? Personally, I love these birds. I think they're great. I just pop them into a flower pot, plant pot actually, and there you go, nothing else. They just elevate an ordinary looking plant pot. Give it a little punch of color. What else can you do? Beaded flowers. How cool are these guys? I mean, look at the handiwork that goes into making these. Put them in a vase, put some pebbles, Again, think about odd numbers, three, five, seven. You don't want two, it's not that interesting, but three, already you have something more energetic and exciting. So there you go. I've given you a snapshot of some of my favorite pieces from the spinner's web and how I style them in my interior. I hope this has inspired you and given you some ideas that you can try it at home. There's lots of wonderful stuff here, so it's definitely worth trying out and see what you can bring in. And the beauty of it is in that we're using stuff from Africa, stuff that's handmade, one-off pieces, really gorgeous stuff. Let me know what you think. Drop me a line in the comments. Let's get the conversation going. Let's like, subscribe, tell your friends, share this video, and ping the notification button so that you don't miss any episodes. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how I style coffee tables, side tables, bookshelves, with a lot of stuff from here. So make sure you catch that one, it's gonna be good.